On one. On one. Whoa there, buddy. Whoa! Look at this, guys. Is that a different species? I have no idea. It's got yellow fins on it. Whoa. Maybe a hybrid mangrove? Yeah. Look at it. It's kind of gray like a mangrove, but it's got yellow fins. Dude, that's so cool. And there he goes. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. Today, we are with our friend Outdoor Bryce. We're going to be trying something a little bit different. As you guys know, here in the state of Florida, iguanas are taking over. Here's an iguana right here. And what are the top predators out here in the Florida Keys, Bryce? Sharks, y'all. And uh, these iguanas, they're getting under people's seawalls. Uh, they're defecating on people's docks. They are literally everywhere, y'all. So our theory is potentially we could train these sharks to develop a taste for these. Yes, exactly, guys. As you guys know, iguanas are very tasty. They call them the chicken of the trees. So what's a better way than to train these sharks than by putting an iguana out for bait. As you guys see, we have a nice iguana over here. Got a circle hook on a leader attached to a rope. These iguanas are swimming around everywhere. And these sharks, guys, maybe we can try to catch one and train these sharks how to hunt them. Because what do sharks and iguanas have in common, Bryce? Both swim in the canals, dude. Absolutely, they both use them as highways. Yep. And since the iguana has no natural predator and the sharks are the top predator, I think it would make the most sense to try to train these massive sharks to eat fresh goanna meat. We're gonna go ahead and put this hook right through this iguana just like that, guys. We wanna make sure that the barb is out and the point is out. So if the shark grabs the iguana, he's gonna get hooked and put in the bag in the bag y'all only one thing left to do guys let's go ahead and throw out our bait and let's see if we can hook on the jaws ninja's on ninja's on what you got ninja oh, oh! another one picture time all right, guys. This has never been done before, y'all. We got a shark on a hand line. I'm about to see if I can get him in uh, just by pulling him, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, we're on a shark, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Don't pull too tight, dude. I don't think I can grab his tail, y'all. See if you can grab under his gill. All right, let's get over to the boat. Let's get over to the boat. I'm yep. Gonna All right, guys, we're going to have to land him on the boat, y'all. They love the Iguana Ninja. Yeah, they love man. him. He got, that, he got that sweet blood. All right, we're going to have to land this thing by the by the, the boat, I guess. Can he reach to me? I'm trying to loosen some more. Got there him, y'all. Go. Nice. Hold on to him good, he's gonna try to death roll on you. There he is, just flip him in the boat, dude. Oh, he's a big one. He's, he's tensing up, y'all. There he oh. is, nice. Oh. We'll bring you in here and just flip him up here, all right? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh. Look at him. Nice. Let's get him up here, y'all. Yep, flip him up. So they'll potentially eat anything that's on the bottom, y'all. Look at him. Gorgeous nurse shark safely released back into the water. And that was amazing that he actually ate the iguana. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us training sharks to hunt these invasive lizards. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys on the next video.